Entrepreneurs raising money from investors frequently find that the financial projections they provide in their business plan are broken down and analyzed using ratios. Every investor has their own idea of what is important and what ratios best reflect that aspect of performance. Many times the task of keeping up with these and understanding them proves tedious and time consuming for an entrepreneur that also has a business to run. I advise entrepreneurs faced with sorting out this type of information to think of ratios in five broad categories. First of all, there are profitability ratios. This is a category that includes ratios such as return on equity, return on assets, earnings per share, return on sales, and in short, these ratios express net income in terms of a percentage when divided by a chosen return criteria. Next, there are solvency ratios. These help an investor determine the ability of your company to meet near-term financial obligations. The most popular solvency ratio is called the quick ratio, which is a sum total of your cash, your marketable securities, and your accounts receivable, all from your balance sheet, divided by current liabilities, also from your balance sheet and typically defined as obligations due within the next 30 days. Activity ratios give investors a sense as to how fast assets turn over within your company. This also gives important insight into cash flow. For example, receivables turnover, which is credit sales divided by average accounts receivable, calculates the rate at which receivables are collected. A higher number indicates that you are collecting receivables more quickly and are hence bringing cash into the company more frequently. Likewise, inventory turnover, which is cost of goods sold divided by average of inventory, gives an investor a sense of how efficiently inventory is being managed. A high inventory turnover means that a product is being sold much sooner after hitting the warehouse and hence turning into cash more quickly than a product that lags in inventory before being sold. Capitalization ratios, such as financial leverage, which is return on investment less return on assets, and debt to equity gives investors a sense of importance of debt and equity in your company's capital structure. Market ratios are very important to investors as they will ultimately play a part in the value an investor places on your company and the amount of stock they will require in exchange for that investment. Two very important market ratios that companies seeking capital should understand are price to earnings and return on investment. If an entrepreneur has questions re regarding the ratio analysis of their, of their financial statements, they should contact us at the Capital Match Point. We can help them get a handle on this and help them down that road of negotiating the uh, the, the funds that they're trying to raise, and because at the end of the day, we're here to help.